Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Cataclysm. I am Vormithrax. This is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. And we are continuing the Grand Theft Apocalypse Challenge, towards which we've made zero progress so far. <laughs> We're on the third episode, and I have not yet accumulated any one of the ten vehicles I'm trying to get a hold of. A uh, combination of just the way the events have unfolded and the map generation is kind of giving me a rough time in trying to get this completion. So, hopefully we get a little bit of progress done. Ideally, I need to find a place to store my, uh, my stolen vehicles. And then, secondly, we need to actually go get said vehicles. So, if you're not aware and you're new to this particular series... In this one, I'm playing the last gig scenario as a sleep-challenged bionic thief who's decided to fulfill the last larcenous contract he received before the world ended. Uh, my job is to find, fix, or steal ten different vehicles and deliver them to a showroom of my making or choice. Uh, those ten are the Humvee, Luxury RV, Sports Car, Bubble Car, Ice Cream Truck, Atomic Mini Tank, Golf Cart, Road Roller, Wiener Mobile, and Bandit Bulldozer. So, those last two are going to be the roughest ones, I think. Uh, we'll see, but um, yeah. We've got some options, but for the moment, we're just uh, tucked into a lab. This is our second lab that we're going to be attempting to clear. First one went just fine, got us outfitted pretty well. Uh, you can see our characters up on the screen right here. we got Trevor Ogg. He's our bionic thief who's trying to complete this challenge uh, I mentioned sleep deprived, and then if you take a look at the traits, we are an asthmatic, heavy sleeper, insomniac, narcoleptic, and sleepy. Uh, that's all the sleep traits that I could find in the uh, character gen, so they're causing some interesting issues. Narcolepsy is a little weird in the way it's implemented, and uh, we've been able to work around it so far without too much difficulty. I think at some point, if it fires at just the wrong time, it could cause some problems. But up till now, we've been able to work uh, work out of those situations. Um, and I think probably Insomniac is the other one that's causing me the most issues, just because occasionally I want to sleep like twice in a row to get ahead of that fatigue timer. And I can't, just because the, uh, the Insomniac is so hard to get to sleep, even under the best conditions. So, we've been working around it, though. Uh, other than that, skill-wise, not much. We started with Electronics, Mechanics, and Computers 4, and that's where they're still sitting. Uh, only thing that's caught up to that in levels is driving at 4, which I've disabled for any further uh, experience gain. Uh, so, we haven't spent a lot of time reading or crafting our way up the trees, and we've mainly just been running around with found gear. I haven't really put any time or attention into crafting up new gear short of a duffel bag and a backpack. Um, we've got quite the supply of books available to us. I just have not needed to kind of sit down and work my way through them quite yet. Of the ones we have, I think first aid and computer skills are the ones I want to raise up mostly. Um, but we got some other options. We are, on the other hand, really well outfitted for weaponry. So we've, with our lab explorations, managed to get a hold of some pretty high-end RivTech weapons and a good supply of ammo, so we no longer have an issue there. Uh, we're still driving around in our excavator, which I think is hilarious <laughs> on day 19, the third episode in this particular series. Here's our overworld map. Come on, overworld map. So we're currently, currently tucked into this lab that we just located as we were driving around trying to find a new area to uh, get to. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't had much luck. Uh, I need to find preferably a mansion. We haven't found one of those. Uh, there's a few other buildings we could use, but it's just been lots and lots of travel and no real opportunities for finding someplace I could use as a showroom and have access to a large number of vehicles. So I've got what's turning into more of a problem than I originally envisioned because I need to find a city somewhat like this, at least size-wise, um, a good size city area, and have the showroom nearby. Um we might eventually just have to surrender and go use this superstore back at the original city we started in right here. Because uh, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be willing to just drive around this really goofy map uh, trying to find some places. So we'll see. We're going to finish off this lab that we're in right here before we do anything. So we'll spend the first part of this episode doing that. And then we'll probably hit the road again. So I'm hopeful to find uh, maybe some CBMs, but... Uh, some libraries with a couple of particular books would be good. Uh, Robots for Fun and Profit, so I can get the control laptop put together. 
I think I'm missing an intermediate electronics book, I want to say. There's a couple of books that I'm missing for intermediate skill ups. So if I do decide to sit down and do a bunch of leveling, we have that option. Uh, we don't have anywhere near a food source or situation resolved. We're kind of living off of uh, MREs and found food here in the labs at the moment. So this is the first floor of the lab, and we have completed it. The only thing left that we haven't done is uh, bionic vaults and a prisoner containment, which I have no interest in going into. I'm going to save the bionic vaults. Uh, I could technically do them by pickaxing the doors down and then tossing in EMP grenades if they happen to have a, uh, a turret. Um, and I might do that. We'll, we'll see. But I don't have the computer skill enough that I'm confident to actually get into the vault without having things pop out of the floor and kill me. So, it's kind of where we're at. We just finished this floor at the very end of last episode. And uh, we're going to get moving again. I think can't remember i think we just woke up we're 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 awake we're full and slaked health is good stats are good no effects to worry about here's our gear by the way uh i'm gonna have to drop some of this stuff here as we head down to the next level but there's our battle rifle we've got the rm88 rivtech battle rifle i haven't accurized it yet i think i didn't i just find a firearm repair kit i think i did just find a firearm repair kit uh i did so we can accurize it um, I, I might. We'll, we'll see. Uh, so we got the RivTech Battle Rifle as our main weapon that we're using. We've also got the RivTech Auto Magnum for an extra quick punch if we need it. Um, hunting knife, halogen bar, so we've got some of the good tools. I still don't have a scalpel or a, uh, a stethoscope, which really surprises me. We've got our fitted roller blades. Everything is pretty much just found items for the most part. I think the only things I've made are the backpacks and the duffel bag. That's it. Everything else we just picked up as we've been running around. Uh, we did recently just get the uh, light amp goggles also, so that's being helpful. Uh, we've got our pickaxe. We're going through walls. And you can pretty much tell what we've got. Um, and we've got a bat and a machete that we're using interchangeably for uh, various purposes for bash damage and cut damage. And there you go. Um, I thought I had EMP grenades. Did I use them all? And Do I need to make more now? Hmm... Apparently, I don't remember using up all my EMP grenades. Maybe I did. I can't remember. We'll figure it out, though. All right, so hi there, Shidar and Cordans. Welcome back, guys. Don't do that. <laughs> don't get shot in the face by a turret and die. Yeah, I'm going to try not to, but it's a lab, so... It's uh, one of the few places where just a simple misstep will flat out kill you unforgivingly. And um, careful as I am, I do still get overconfident sometimes and step where I should not have stepped. Or forget where a turret was placed after restarting a session or going down the wrong stair. <laughs> I don't know. I still have a pretty big love-hate relationship with turrets and the implementation of bullets and protection and all that. But however... Let's go ahead and get things moving. So, let's see. What do I need to unload? we got plenty of volume. We don't have a lot of carry weight. I need to try to divest myself of some weight. Pickaxe is going to be the worst offender. I don't think I'm going to use the grenades. Let's drop those. Uh, none of the medical stuff is really weighing much. I'm not sure I can really drop much unless I start dropping some of my... Protective gear, which I might actually do. Given the ammo supply we have now, the number of times I'm going to actually be meleeing anything is fairly small. Um, yeah, so I think I might divest myself of, like, the MBR vest with ceramic, ceramic plates is pretty heavy. Let's get rid of that. Um, I want to keep at least some protection on. We're about to lose another army jacket. We've gone through quite a few of those. Let's get rid of the leg guards, too. 75 out of 108. That's a little better. Alright. I'll repair the duffel bag while I'm here. No tailor's kit with me. I got stuff upstairs in the vehicle as well. Um, yeah, let's run upstairs real quick. Really? All right, where are these blobs coming from? All 
Ah, more blob globs. All right, let's go check upstairs real quick, just to remind myself uh, what else we've got laying around up here. In oops, inventory over here, everything over here. There's our Barrett. We just got the magazine for that. Yay. Uh, we got plenty of mags for our rifle. We've got 145 rounds, I believe, in our battle rifle of standard 8x40. And then we've got a few other types if we ever run out of those. But we should find more here on this uh, this lab, hopefully. Uh, there's my EMP grenades. Why am I not carrying those? That's what I should be carrying. Yeah, let's take all four. At least leave them inside. Um, I don't think I need much of anything else right now. There's a tailor's kit. We'll take that as well. All right. I think that's all I need for the moment. Hmm, I'm not sure. I yeah, I should have rags there. Sure, go ahead and reinforce it. I ran out of charges. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, I have no thread here. Um, that's fine. That's all I care about fixing for the moment. All right. Well, with the grenades, we put our weight back up to almost 80. So we got about 28 pounds we can carry. That's probably enough. I'm not going to be carrying a lot of raw materials. Just uh, new stuff to deal with. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't care if I lose the socks or shorts. Let's see. Do we have any string down here? No. I don't want to go back upstairs, so I think we're just going to go with what we've got. It would be nice to consolidate all those tools into uh, a survivor belt. But I can't make the or survivor utility belt, but I can't make the survivor belt yet because I don't have uh, high enough fab slash tailoring. So convenience, convenience. Um, go ahead and get moving. So this floor is done. We're gonna go downstairs. We've got a downstairs in here. And I believe we have some up north as well. Actually, let's do this. So, corridor is very dark. So this is the bionic vault. So if we fail, we can go south easily, we can go north easily, we can go west. Yeah, let's give it a try. And manifest first. So, mini flamethrower, joint torsion, power storage, integrated, internal, multiple joint torsion. I think I've already got one. I've already got the internal storage, and I believe I've already got the integrated tool set. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. So... Yep, got the joint torsion ratchet. And got the integrated tool set. All right, so there's no point in uh, breaking into the bionic vaults on this floor. I've already got the stuff that it would give me unless I wanted backups in case I failed an installation. Um, we've got an auto dock facility right here. So all I'm really waiting on to try to install anything is additional first aid skill and computer skill to increase my chances. Uh, no books down here. Go back upstairs one more time. Um, there's no light to read by. Let's 
so we've got first aid to six with the first responder book. And that's it. So we can get first aid to six, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, computers is where I'm stuck, though. So we've got the high-level computer book, five to eight, uh, SICP. But I need one of two possible computer books to bridge that gap. I have no way of getting my computer skill from four to five, unfortunately. Um, it'll take forever for me just trying to hack various things to try to level that up. So that's one of the reasons I'm really hoping to uh, find uh, libraries on one of these levels. Uh, electronics, we've got electronics to five, and that's it, I believe. Yeah, no other electronics book. So we need a high level electronics book as well. And mechanics were good. Mechanics we've got all the way up to uh, eight. All right, so. At some point, we will uh, try to take advantage of that stuff. All right, so where are we going to go? We got stairs down here. We got stairs down just north of me. I think. I'm going to go the one just north of me. And since I'm just starting up a session again and my memory is not that good, let's uh, make absolutely sure we peek our way in. Looking good. All right, lots of noise. Nothing in here I care about. All right, some of this is going to be a dog kennel, I believe, yeah, or multiple dog kennels. <laughs> um, forty-nine volume. If I drop the duffel bag, it'll drop me to nineteen volume. I won't be able to pick anything up. I Probably won't even be able to hold the duffel bag. Pick off the backpack. And it gets us to 47. All right, let's see how many misses we get with 47. Yeah, a couple misses. Oh, stethoscope! Hey there, buddy! Well, I wasn't expecting that. All right, stethoscope in a random locker. Cool. Now I don't have to go chasing down uh, ambulances. Uh, blob room or more dogs? Oh, spiders. That's even better, actually. Note. Up in spider room. So we got a meat source if we need to uh, chop up some spiders. So that answers what's in these noisy rooms. Let's find out what's over here. Uh-oh. This could be one of the dangerous rooms. Let's um, where the light amp goggles. Activate the light amp goggles. This is one of the rooms that could be dangerous. Alright, enjoy the green effect and the uh, way that it kills my peeing on my Green screen. All right, a couple scientists. That's not dangerous. Oh, this is the side room of the uh, conveyor belt room. This will be the conveyor belts over here. This is a pretty lucky combo. This is usually a pretty good source for uh, mutagens and books. And uh, then we got this one as well for some mutagens. Not that I'm really doing much with mutagens this run. Bandages and nothing. All right, so we didn't get much luck up there. Turn these off and take them off and go kill us some scientists. Standard mutagen, more antibiotics. Uh, I don't think I need more. 
Nah, I'm never going to use anywhere near that many anyway. Well, there's a uh, pretty interesting book. Spring-driven nuclear shells. <laughs> Practicality enhancement. What else we got? Chemical reference we've already got. Go and look out for a scalpel. It's one of the few tools, general tools, that I'm still looking for. Dielectric capacitance. There's a good one. Well, that's a pretty good start. Assuming we get it installed safely. Which is not likely. <laughs> We're going to get some pretty bad numbers for installing a dielectric. Um, Alright, so let's go finish off the conveyor belt room here. Ah, good old man hacks. Come on, you punk. <laughs> Love these things. Hemoglobulin? Nope. Yeah, this will just be some crates. Alright, so we got a room south and that is it. You can see where we've peeked down other stairs on this floor. Until I see a stair down, I have to assume this is going to be a floor that could possibly be the finale floor. No, actually, we're, we're hearing stuff from below, so that should indicate this is not a finale floor. Oh, Mr. Turret, I have not yet hacked a turret for the map in this area. Might be able to do it with that one, depending on what lines up in these rooms to the south. Center room is always safe. I've never seen anything dangerous in the center room. So somebody insisted to me that uh, books could be found in these refrigerators and I've now gone through, I don't know, half a dozen labs and been checking these and I've never seen uh, anything other than the normal items I always see here. So they're about to go back on my list of don't, do not bother. <laughs> Maybe it's possible to get books. I don't tip personally believe it, but uh, if it is possible, the frequency is so low not to be worth my time. You've seen one book in a fridge once? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to continue checking them. It's just not worth the time and the effort. Similar to trying to find medieval gear on the basement of mansions. All right, so my strength is down. I'm not sure. I think I can pull that bookcase. Yeah. All right, so pull that. Pull that. Now... Let's see how to do this. Go around. Yeah, let's do it this way. Do that. Work our way around. Wield our rifle. Hey there, Mr. Turret. Turret is 16 away. 14. 13. All right, we're going to take the shot from right here. 55% chance of a hit. All right, problem solved. Hopefully we pass this one. I think we failed a previous one. Map data, thank you very much. All right, <laughs> well, we got another lab we can go to nearby. Oh, this map is killing me. 
Dang. It's just chock full of hazardous waste, temples and uh, mansion or not mansions, uh, motels and farms. That's all I'm finding, really. Really starting to annoy the hell out of me. Look at this. <laughs> we got two more labs, another toxic waste dump, another farm. That's like farm number eight or something like that. Or that's the ranch. That's not the farm. Uh, yeah, this map gen's just kicking my ass. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. Um, I mean, here's the world settings. 8.6. That's pretty much what I've been running lately. Only thing I really did differently is uh, I took out a couple of the extra location mods. Um, which I thought would cut down on some issues with map gen, but... This map is really starting to annoy the hell out of me. It's going to make doing this challenge damn near impossible. All right, can't go uh, south, can't go west. Something's banging around in here. Either Mr. Zombie. Already taken more damage to our arm than I'm happy with in this stupid man hack. Blood filter, can't remember. I think I've got blood analysis laying around. And we're already overweight. care what's in the closet there. Don't much like this room, but we do have a way out south and we might have a way out to the east. Nothing to the west. I think I'm just going to go around this room. No point braving getting shocked. Ah, this room's familiar. More solder. <laughs> Apparently we got somebody banging around inside the uh, closet there with their cleaning supplies. Got the augmentative tech. Hey there, Mr. Turret. You almost fooled me into coming in there. Another three by three. Ah, right, we have a stair down. Don't like these with the uh, gas and stuff because I've had occasions where they've had turrets in them as well. And the smoke or gas is wafted and then a line of sight was established <laughs> and I would get shot afterwards. Which kind of sucked. Alright, this is the far side of that trap room. Actually, I am an asthmatic. I do want the inhaler. Uh, we're going to go this way and south. Hmm. 
Do I want my gas mask with me? I remember going back and getting my gas mask, so where... How the hell do I not have my gas mask now? Hmm. No way to the east. One door there, one door there. Alright, we still got plenty of places to go. Power storage. Not excited about that. And nowhere else to go here. This one again. Hey there, Zombie Hollow. That's a good fit. Good place for you to be. Right there in containment. Kitchen. Uh, sure. We'll take some cabbage. Crackers are good. V8 is always welcome. And take one clean water. The other one's empty. Go ahead and have that V8 right now. Some water. All right, dead end over here. And <laughs> now the gas is scooted around and I have no way out of this room. Come on, gas. Scoot a little bit more. I don't have to, have to wait out the poisoning. I think I'm going to end up having to get poisoned. Ah, so close. Hey, we made it. <laughs> Ah, well that doesn't go very far. Another barracks. Leave that for the moment. Finish off the rest of the floor. I think it's not going to be much bigger than what I've already got explored here. So, last one was gas. This one is smoke, huh? things. <laughs> um, well, blood analysis. We got uh, one more door, and I suspect that's going to be another either barracks or prisoner containment. Fills in behind me. Of course it does. 
Okay, let's go check that last room out. And then we're going to head back up top. Dump some inventory off and decide if we want to come back and take out that barracks. Alright, yep, it is an endpoint. It's just one of these that has the uh, little corridor before it. Ah, both of them are broke. That's pretty good, though. Crackers and wheat cereal. Alright, lots of parts for electronics. And... Oh, a library! Uh, quit. I want to know if before I go up... Whether or not this has got something useful. I have never seen... Decent book. Yay. And yay. Ah, uh, nothing. Do it yourself. Another SICP. Uh, normally I'm desperate to get SICP. This run, they just keep throwing it at me. Whoops, I already have the do it yourself. Growing skill, economics. Ah, they gave me the low level, they gave me the high level. I can't get the medium one. Oh, that's that's terrible. <laughs> Everything except the one I needed for the computer skills. All right, well, that answered that question. It was an endpoint like I assumed it was. Uh, let's go back up. So we got one barracks in the next... Oh, there's narcolepsy. Good old narcolepsy. Alright, let's dump. Let's see. So, that one lets you craft the modified mini nuke and the mini nuke launcher. <laughs> Good times. And we are tired now. All right, all the noises we're hearing are on other floors. Must be way below us because we've cleared out most of what's uh, on the floor directly below us. Let's go ahead and heal up. We'll sleep, get healed up. So let's throw some bandages on. Even though I'm tired, I'm not able to fall asleep. There we go. Here's the downside of Z levels. Is the, uh, look how slow it's advancing my clock. <laughs> Normally when I sleep, it just, I'll sleep like 10 hours in about, oh, 10 real world seconds. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, Riot Helm is one of the standard items you can find in those uh, refrigerators. What is it? It's safety glasses, Riot Helmet, lighters, rubber boots. I think there's one or two other ones, but 
Those are the only items I've ever found. I've, I don't remember ever finding a book in uh, one of those. What am I going to do, a farming challenge? Absolutely never. I will never do farming. <laughs> I've made my stance on farming perfectly clear. I'm not playing uh, Cataclysm Farming Simulator 2019. <laughs> I see no point to farming in the game. Part of that's just due to my being so familiar with the game. Food and hydration is essentially a zero consequence for me, just because I know where everything can be found. And no matter what I set my, my settings on, I have no problem keeping myself fed and watered. So... The other part of the problem is farming takes so long to be effective, and I mean, if I put my mind to it in just about any game world setting I put myself in, I end up being a cyber mutant deity walking the earth in 80 days anyway, so what's the point? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's the main thing. It really just depends on your focus and what you want to do. If you guys like farming, go farm, have fun crazy. I just don't particularly find it useful or functional in any way that uh, means anything in a more combat focused apocalypse survival game. But if you want to play in the woods or farming runs, go for it. I just am not likely to ever do any of those myself unless there's some pretty major changes to the game settings. Alright, we all set again? Oh yeah, I gotta throw my hat back on. Got the bat, got the grenades, got the tools, pickaxe, light amp. I think we're all set. Oh yeah, hungry and thirsty. Um, cool, it's back to crack. Now let's let's have some uh have some nuts. That's what these things are for to Keep my hidden health stat from tanking while I'm uh, doing these explorations. All right, back downstairs we go. <laughs> I don't know where these guys keep appearing from. Uh, random man hacks. Not sure if there's like a scientist wandering around that that I didn't finish killing. I know there's the skitter bot up there, but whatever. Not terribly dangerous. Okay, so we've got a barracks down and to the east. I don't want to go through there. Alright, let's play Shoot the Grenadier some more. So always take care of your light sources and your retreat path first. So, we're going to close these up. Alright, my retreat path is dark up that way. And I think I'm good this way too. Nope, not quite. Alright, that should give me enough room. So our retreat paths are clear. Um, Do I try the, uh, the terminal? Sure. Good old full body electric shock. <laughs> I'm just going to stop trying those. All right. So now I have to decide, do I go through the door? I really dislike going through the doors when I know there's something on the other side. It's too dangerous. I much, much prefer going into this, this wall here. So let's go uh, grab ourselves a couple of two by fours. And we'll do our standard entry. Pickaxe our way through here. Good old slow-mo. Alright, nobody's in the room with me yet, even though the door is open. See if we can... Uh, let's, let's try giving the... Uh, giving, instead of cutting our way through, let's try whacking our way through. There you go. 
So I constantly have to tell people on Reddit and the uh, Discord channels and that that you don't have to cut them the rebar. You can actually smash it as long as you have a half-decent strength and some kind of a decent bash item. Algon Bar's got 20 bash, so 9 strength, 20 bash. Might have, been, might have been lucky that I got it on the first swing, but usually it doesn't take too many swings. And it's much faster. It takes like an hour to uh, cut your way through. All right, let's bridge that with a plank. And put the Halligan bar away. Get our rifle out. Go see what's in here. Actually, we need to uh, wear our goggles. All right, now we're going to go take a look. Who's in here? Uh oh, they're hiding down in the bathroom, or are they below? No, they can't be below ground. There's lots of broken stuff here, so they're definitely in one of the bedrooms or in the bathroom. I suspect. Yep, oh, yep, grenadier. So we got at least one grenadier in here. We got somebody to the south as well that I'm a little worried about. Uh, let's try to investigate the south one before I pop shot that guy to the north. Holy mackerel. All right, so we're still not done. It's possible there's still some others in here, but we got two grenadiers at a minimum, two soldiers. So if I, hmm, if I shoot that grenadier, let's see here. I think we're pretty clear at this point. Go back to run mode. Can't see from there, so I'm going to need to do it from here. Ideally, I'd like to shoot the grenadier in the bathroom with the other two zombies, and hopefully the grenade will do a lot of damage to them, but... Uh, I don't have enough space to get good range and movement. I'd have to move down one more space. That's not good. I think I'm going to draw them out. Try to, anyway. All right, they're just going to stick around in the bathroom, are they? I'll take the guy to the north out, then. He's down. Back out before they move out of the bathroom. Next. Come on, you pesky grenadier. <laughs> Don't make me come chase you around a corner. He's going to be an asshole about it. All right, run mode. Don't be a C4, don't be a C4. Whoa, that was a C4. <laughs> Oof. Saved by the rollerblades. Ouch. That was most definitely a C4. <laughs> and the only thing that got me out of the range was the uh, 31 movement rate that I was getting my running in my rollerblades. All right, so we got the area clear now. I'm pretty confident. Uh, there's a new jacket. Let's swap out our jacket. Uh, wear brand new jacket. Dump torn up jacket. Any boxer shorts? Boxer shorts. <laughs> Wear new boxer shorts with a few less skid marks. Uh oh, we're gonna get smoked into the other room. Should have grabbed my gas mask while I was up there. Uh, depends on the explosion, Gazarin.
Uh, it's creeping in on me. Yeah, right, there we go. What do we got? Another grenade. More suppressors, more defenders. Don't care about the rest of this stuff. More MREs. Uh, was this both? Yeah, this was both bodies. All right, so that's all three of the guys down here. Nothing in that room. Yeah, we're okay there. Pretty much all the standard army gear I could ever want. <laughs> Tear gas hack, grenade hack, grenade hack, grenade hack. Lovely. Don't want any of it. Yeah, they've gotten real stingy about the uh, combat manuals. Alright. Uh, let's go with turning off the goggles. Taking off the goggles. And as our past ones are going to be, we're going to go ahead and uh, pickaxe that door. Slowly, slowly, and no turret. All right, another free armory. Flashlight on. What you got for me? 8x40 is probably about the only thing left that I care about. And there's 20 tracer rounds of 8x40. Uh, but we got a hundred rounds of the five by fifty flechette. That's not too bad, I guess. Don't really care about any of the rest of this stuff. Two defenders, two L five twenty threes. We'll definitely grab that. Don't want the mini gun. Tracers and what else we got? Eh, eh. Ah. Yeah, there's no condition for walls, so they could be damaged, but the, the graphics don't change, so it's kind of hard to tell. Really, to take down a lot of walls, there's only one nuke or one uh, grenade that would do it, and that's the mini nuke grenade. And only the elite grenadier has that. C4 is as big as the uh, standard grenadier can throw. All right, so we're done here. Not bad, I guess. Got some real basic gear and a little bit of ammo. At least it was worth the expenditure to get in. We are done with floor two, and I think there was only, well, I guess there was a couple of stairs down. Uh, we came in from there. Uh, let's check this one. Mm, all right, so we know we got at least one more floor down below us. That's good. Not a big fan of these doors, though. Hmm. 
think I have enough solder. Take out the turret, don't take out the turret. Nah, I think I'll recognize. Metabolic interchange, one of my favorites. Probably my favorite current power generation. So, we got the metabolic, we got the uh, joint torsion, we got the integrated tool set, all recently. Now I just need the skills and abilities to hopefully be able to install successfully. That's this little area done. Stop running. We know we've got at least one more level below us, so we're safe from a finale, theoretically. Gamma? Oh, gamma. 